ok welcome back uh, welcome to a new live uh, with Isan hello everyone for the people that they don't know me I'm Silver let me check the audio looks good ok yeah. welcome back uh, ok let me remove it here so I'm Silver from Silver Coast Lab, as you know, and every week I make a live uh, talk about the 3D printing world, what happened, what I'm printing, I will show to you my projects, sometimes I do my project together and live with you. Last week I made some Halloween printing in live with the uh, Felsan, with the P1P. And today I want to just talk with you a little bit about what happened in the previous week that is a lot of news regarding especially the Bamboo World, they announced the new uh, AM A1 uh, printer, it is very very small, the new AMS Lite, uh, the new web service, the Maker World. It was the big problem with a big leak of the review of the A1 from one YouTubers uh, that he got a lot of problem. I want to talk also about that one, and I want to show to you, of course, what I'm printing uh, last week, especially the last helm helmet of a Spider-Man that I post randomly in the YouTube, and uh, and that's all. Today I have something in my eye, probably a fur of my cat that is just jump on me. Okay, so first of all, let's start to show what I printed last week. I'm very happy last week I printed this one. Let me show to you. Here, the cat on the background doesn't count. First one is the Spider Man 2099 helmet. This is a file from Yosh Studios. I follow every time his pattern you know. This one, on the beginning, my idea is to print with the white PLA of Isan and print the frame with a different color. I printed red with the PLA plus red fire engineer, the same red that I use for print the other Spider-Man helmet. I printed the frame black. This is the PLA matte black and I printed with this green fluo. In the last period I'm starting to appreciate a lot more the color PLA from Isan because now with the technology that he's evolved and prints so fast and also so so good, sometimes you can print a helmet like this one without any post-process almost. This one, if I print it with a white PLA, now you can see a little bit some line here on the top because this one I printed with a gray one at 0.2, not 0.16, and uh, I spray. When you spray, you start to show a little bit some lines. But if you print directly with a white PLA, you will not see anything. And if you want to have an even better surface, you can go lower with the nozzle and print with the with the layer height and print at 0.16. Usually, I always print at 0.2. This one I print with the FL Sun V400 because it doesn't fit on the other printer, it doesn't fit on the Prusa or it doesn't fit on the Bamboo P1S. And also last time I think it was uh, Frankie Build make a nice and very interesting video about this evolution of printer that I start to print so good then you don't need even to make post-process I mean look this is PTG it's already very good here just some supports that I remove that you can fix it better if you want but look this one this one is print like this one you don't have to smooth you don't have to sand polish and paint for some kind of print, printing now with a color PLA or PTG, it makes something like this so, so easy to print. Don't mind, uh, let me move away the cat on the back. This is my, oh, sorry. This is my 
Little catch. Go. We always want to stay individual. I will say that printing something like this with a color PLA now, it makes something so, so simple and easy. Of course, you cannot print everything like this one. Or better, you can if it's something that is just for you, for decoration, or if you want to go to some event and make something very fast. Of course, if you want to have a better surface, uh, like something metal surface, uh, or more shiny, or especially for the metal, you have to make some post-process sanding and painting. But when the helmet has this texture, like this one, like the previous Spider-Man, something like this, is so so easy just print and paint and make so much better life i remember three years ago when i started to print something sending for hours because of course the printer was not so accurate not so smooth now i can just print and i repeat, I repeat this one now i'm printing again with a white pla because i want to show you the difference and uh, that I can just print and pay and make it and so so nice and clean. And this helmet here is even a little bit too big. <laughs> I print a little bit too big. This is 100 percent Normally it's okay the size for me for the your studio. This one is a little bit bigger. For example, Spider-Man that always his pattern is files that I printed last week. I had to make bigger 102%. And if you don't remember how to scale, I make some video on my YouTube channel, how to scale with Armor Smith or some simple tool that you can use for take the size of your head, I suggest you go to check. This one, you can see, normally should be remove the back here with the magnets, but because it's a little bit bigger, I can even wear it without opening. So you see, if I move the head, is shaking a little bit. It's not a problem. I can just add some foam inside here to give extra space to fit more tight to my head and I can still wear it very, very easily. This one I print in one day and few hours the front, few, uh, four hours the back, and every set of eyes it was like three or four hours with a P1P. And the cool thing on this helmet is, as you can see here, is that you can simply swap the highs on the frame here. You can just pick up this, pick up this one. You can change the frame of your eyes when it's going down. Right. Here you can just flip, pull down. You have the magnets on the helmet and you just apply and you change your color. Change of course also the other one. Now I print with these three colors, but you can print with any colors that you like. Usually Spider-Man, this version is with a red one, but I found also the, this green one here, like full case, it's very, very cool. I like so, so much. And the last one is with a black matte PLA. I really love this matte black PLA. I print so many helmets, especially from Batman. Batman of this one because when you print it, it because it's matte, it can hide the layer. I should not grab the cat. Big cat, long fur is always a mess. With a black matte PLA, you can print full helmet black without any post process and is super clean. Look at the matte, you cannot see the layer. So, this one was the first print that I made here. And this one I will send now to Isan together with another Spider-Man for one exhibition in German. So 
If you are in German or you are planning to go there to the 3D printing exposition, I think it's in November, October, I need to ask Ison. You can see and try this helmet. But last week, I told you that I was printing also something with, uh, for Halloween, and I printed this file that I took from STLFX. Wait, let me adjust here. Okay. This is a pumpkin, melting pumpkin files from STLFX with a hat you can open. And this one are printed with a strange uh, dark glow in the dark filament. Okay. And if you charge with the UV light, something like this one, for example, in the dark, uh, maybe you can see a little bit, it starts to glow. And if you turn off the light, it will be totally glowing. It makes very cool effect. The only issue of this kind of filament is that I didn't know at the beginning that it's better print with uh, a 3.6 nozzle or at least not with a standard nozzle because I clogged two printers to print something similar to this one because it's a little bit abrasive. So remember, when you print something that is glow in the dark or some PLA that has some glitter texture, it's better don't use the bronze nozzle, the classic nozzle. Use a better quality nozzle and even better a 0.6 nozzle. Otherwise, you will have a lot of clog. And after I print two racing files, this one is, I really love it because now it, there is, they make the announce of the new Final Fantasy VII game. So I decided to print this here. Sephiroth. This I print with the M5S, the new pressing printer from Anycubic. The base is made with the Ison Kelly matte uh, pink, is the new color that they just made. And I printed 0.16 because it's a lot of detail. I don't know if you can see, but it's super clean. This is FDM print, makes so clean. If you paint, probably you cannot understand if it's Razi or printer or FDM. And it's so, so beautiful and so, so big. I don't know if you love Final Fantasy series. For me, the 7 is one of the best video games ever that they made. I really, really love it. And uh, I was so happy to print. This file is from Nom Nom Studios. I don't know if I pronounced correct. And it's so cool. And the last resin print that I made is this giant Pikachu origin from Sanix Studios. You know that uh, normally 90% of the print that I made come from Sanix. I'm joining his pattern a long time ago and I'm so much in love on his file. They are so cool, so clean, so much details and so beautiful. Look at this one. This is fan art of Pikachu. And the best part of Sonic's files are that arrive already pre-supported from Cheatbox and Lychee or normal file if you want to support by yourself. And until now, his files are the only one that I can just take the file, slice with my own settings without change the support, without make the hollowing, without anything. Just grab the file open on my slicer, slice and print and come out every time perfect. Never had an issue. All the other patterns and files that are fallen from the resin, even this file from Nom Nom here, every time I print something really supported, they every time fall down. I don't know why. Sanix is the only one that he doesn't fall down and so much easy and so, so beautiful. I, I really love this giant Pikachu. It's so big. It took even take too much with the M in cubic M5S print to print. It was very, very fast. Let me remove it. 
Okay, come back to my ugly face. Here we are. Let me put it in safe. So now that I show to you what I print, let's talk what happened last week. First one, maybe I don't know if you heard about the problem I had this YouTuber that I don't want to make the name for uh, privacy. If you search on YouTube, we'll write the Bamboo A1 uh, leak video. You can find a lot of YouTube that explain what happened, a lot of people talking on Twitter. What happened that this YouTuber, he got the printer in advance uh, for making the review like all other colleagues. And uh, instead of program the publishing on nine o'clock on the day one, he post one day in advance. For a few minutes, he posts the video, so the people immediately got it, downloaded it, and reposted in all the social. So it was this big leak of the new announce of the printer. And uh, he said that he was not intentional. It was a mistake from him and his group of people works together. I know personally this YouTuber. I met him uh, when I was in uh, Shenzhen during the can see during the event of the cost of the 3D printing. So I know him a little bit. And uh, it's also his first time that he went to the Bamboo and he talked to the Bamboo directly for about this project. So I really don't think that he made this on purpose because now he has some problem with the Bamboo because he's in a contract that he cannot talk and show anything before the day one. And I really, I'm pretty sure that he doesn't make on purpose because he just started to cooperate with the bamboo and I don't think he will risk everything. Just forgot few viewers more. He really has a lot of view or uh, followers, so I'm hope everything will be good from him. I really don't like all the people that are talking bad, uh, accuse him or say very bad word uh, to him. And I hope that everything he will go good good and uh, nothing. That is what happened about this huge leak. If you want to check just right on YouTube and you can find everything. But the big news about Bamboo is the new printer. Bamboo show many pictures and teaser in the last two weeks uh, that collect the attention on the people to grow the hype. Uh, first one, they talk about this new way to make multicolor for everyone. Many people, including me, we thought that it was a new system for the multicolor and for everyone is meaning that you can connect to every printer so everyone can print. But now we find that we misunderstand the meaning of this everyone because this new color printing system is just for the new printer. For everyone, that means that it's so simple, so easy that everyone can use it. So unfortunately, is not a new 3D printer color, multicolor system that you can upgrade all on the other printer like the FL Sun, like the Cubic or Creality unfortunately. It's work only on the new Bamboo A1, even not working with the P1P or X1. So let's check together what was the news. So let's start with here, wait a second. Here, yeah. Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. There was some leaks also about the pictures, so we knew that it was a cartesian, and at the beginning it was very strange because if you remember at the beginning when the Bamboo claim uh, with a new X X1 introduced themselves to the public, they say the first topic we don't trust, it. we don't make any more any bed slinger printer. And now they made a bed slinger. <laughs> so the people was very confusing. And the second, no problem, but everyone was waiting for a big printer for a competitor with a Creality X K1 Max or in the new Project XL. So everyone asking for a huge, a big printer, 300 by 300 or even bigger and a correxy like the X1, maybe X1 XL, and instead Bamboo make the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, a small Cartesian printer that is 180 
times 180 times 180 is the same size of the Peugeot Mini. So the first thing that everyone came to me was why? Why they make something like this? And there is a reason. Everyone asking this one, and uh, if you want to know the full story, why they decide to make something like this instead of go bigger, here there is one interview that is made by CNC Kitchen, that he make an interview on the CEO of the Bamboo Studios, and he make many, many questions about the new Bamboo Lab, on the future of the company, and the first question was, why Bamboo Lab didn't make an X1 XL? And here you can listen and check the explanation why he doesn't make, doesn't go bigger. The short answer, they say that now they're investing a lot of resources for uh, new technology, new hardware, new software, and they wasn't ready for make any, any bigger printer that it was innovative and better than what we have now. So we don't want to make an X1 just bigger. If we make a bigger printer, it must have something new, something better than the other. For this one, we need more time. So probably we have something in the 2024, probably not yet. And they decide to make this printer, the A1 Mini, for make the first printer to everyone. If you are new on the 3D printing, you want to learn how to print this one, the claim is the perfect printer for this one. And today I want to check together with you their website, check what this printer is capable to do. And also I already ordered this printer because I like it. <laughs> I like also the multicolor system and I will explain also why I didn't took the AMS but I decided to take this one. And uh, when we arrive in October, I will try to make one live on unboxing and start to print directly in the live. The reason why I never took the AMS on the P1P is because usually what I'm printing, you see, is how much is big. Big printer like that one normally they don't need to be multicolor because I need to sand and paint. Or when I use like the white or black matte PLA, I just use one color. I always want to make something uh, multicolor, smaller, some small toy, even for my son, or just for play, for post a video on YouTube. Uh, but Normally, it's too big the plate of the P1P, so it was wasting material and wasting the, the AMS was not good. And when I saw this one, that on the same price almost of the AMS, I can get this small printer that can print small stuff, multicolor, better because the new MS Lite has some better stuff, some worse. I decided to take this one. So for me, printing something smaller to make something different is fun, it's nice, and usually when you print something multicolor, you don't print something very, very big. So I think that this size is perfect for print small stuff multicolor. Anyway, it's the same size of Prusa and you can Prusa Mini, and you can print many things. Of course, I don't print one helmet, but this one is not meant to be a cosplay printer. It's for the first printer, your first multicolor printer, or for the printing farm because as you can see it's very very good and, and quite printed so first of all now let's watch together one moment their presentation and after let's analyze together i don't know why there is no sound here they show the new printer the linear rail is a cartesian with this new tool in the front that is just a decoration. Bamboola product engineer, multicolor, the printing for everyone. Easy use, beginner friendly. Full auto calibration. No paper with auto Z offset. Not a problem like exactly like the P1P and X1. Vibration compensation and also a new system for the sound compensation. The flow dynamic calibration is I want to talk later because it's something very new, like the active flow rate compensation. 
They make a lot of new stuff. This new quick in out swap nozzle system is so so good. And the active motor noise cancellation cancelling. They make a lot of nice new features. Full metal linear rails, the bearings and the guides. This new tangle, anti tangle tangle system is something that is very, very good. I can wait to try. And of course, the new MS light in this strange shape. Very easy to load and unload the filament. And of course, it compatible with the spool of the AMS that you can automatically recognize the, what, pre, what PLA, what PLTG you put on the AMS. And also, the new Maker World, the new web service uh, that you can use for print something directly by your phone without even pass through the nozzles or uh, use your computer. It's similar to printables. So let's back here. So this one is the new printer. The printer itself is very small. This printer is entered in one A4 paper. The only problem is all the AMS mini here, light, sorry, with this D4 bowling tube here that make a lot of much, take a much more space, makes so big. It take almost the size of 2P1P because you cannot put the AMS light on the a1 mini. So, what's this one? This one I really show how it's printing something time lapse uh, with the multicolor system. And they show what you can do with the one mini. You can print one uh, Panzer tank here, make with a. With a. Make a word in 13 hours. You can print something like this one. This is the mystery box model that I, will, I want to talk to you later. So we just pass front. And now again, we have some overview. What's this? We have the AMS light multicolor, full auto calibration. You don't have to do anything manual anymore. Nothing. And this is so, so cool. The active flow rate compensation for have something smooth. And the X1 make this one by the lighter. The lighter was something very cool as idea, but it gives some problems. So the bamboo decided to not make any more on the AM slide, also for the user cost. And they make another way for for check the flow rate compensation in the real time. And later I will show to you something. It's super quiet thanks to this active noise cancellation. It's a reliability. It's build quality to trust because it's full metal, it's not plastic. He has 10,000 millimeter square, uh, millimeter, millimeter square, square acceleration. So it's half acceleration of the X1 and the P1P, but also because it's smaller, so it's, it's normal. It has to be like this one. And this one is the new Maker World that they just announced. And just yesterday, they released the open beta from this website. Before it was in closed beta. Now everyone can try this one. And this one is something very, very cool. And later I want to show you some that they already start to make. Here is AMS Lite, multiple printing for everyone. The new AMS Lite is elegant and reliable. Combined with the A1 Mini, it makes Multicolor 3D printing accessible to everyone. This is the infamous sentence that everyone think you can use the new MS system to any printers, but it's not like this. Plug and play. The printer arrived or made full assemble. The only thing that you need to assemble is the spool holder on the back and the push shoot because it's not a bamboo, it doesn't have the push shoot for throw away the poop of your filament. And in this case, it's really throwing away that I want to show you. Goodbye to use manual calibration and tuning. It's full 
automatic auto bear level he can check many six one two three four five six one two three four five thirty six point for guarantee a perfect first layer and he used guarantee the nozzle with a pressure to check so thanks to this one you don't need to adjust any the offset exactly like he made the new Prusa with mk4 the M the XL also has making the P1P and the X1 and uh, so far it's working very very good. No more paper metal. So auto tune both X and Y in resonance before every printer. As you know the bamboo printer before every printer start to make this movement of the head start to shake very very fast. I want to make also my pictures a little bit smaller so you can also see my face wait here oh, okay wait, my face here so you can see also me a little bit okay so you can spin this head to check the vibration and different speed and compensate for avoiding to make print with ghost and green and a very high speed. Auto flow dynamics. Full automatic pressure advanced calibration. First of its kind, the A1 mini runs the nozzle pressure based flow dynamics calibration algorithm. No need to draw any pattern or get any manual pick and match involved. What does it mean? Before the X1 he prints some lines and with the LiDAR he can check and uh, decide which one is the best liner pressure or pressure advance for your print and it will adjust during the printing time. But he has some issue that it works only on some kind of bed, for example, it doesn't work on the texture of the bed, for example, and it's not always very good. On the P1P, they add the manual pressure advance it was a test that you print many lines and after you need to decide which one was better save the printer use this value and it will save with the a1 mini what they claim is that it's the nozzle that has some sensor inside when it's printing he checks some lines and he can understand according to some algorithm which lines he was printed better so you don't need to check you don't need to select anything he will make automatically print this line and after start to print and uh, change this pressure advance time by time. And if it is working, it's very cool. We need to see if it's working. How to bell tension? How A1 mini can check the bell tension automatically with a, a vibration frequency. If the belt is losing, the hardware system will notify use to use the auto bell tensioner. And this is a hallelujah. We don't need to worry anymore about the bell tension. The big issue that we have with all the printer, especially with my big delta, is every time the bell are not tensioned properly. Until now, <coughs> the best way that I, had, I saw it was the Prusa that had one system that it can tell you one number and you can see if the belt was tensioned correctly or not. And you can just change by according to some spinning. The X1, it has some very nice system of the P1P that you can just unscrew one, screw, move the head, tight and extension again, but he never told you that you need to do it. You need to see by yourself. When you check the printer is not good, you can maybe tension the belt. Here, according to what they say, the printer, when they find during the vibration system at the beginning that the belt are not tension, they will send a message and you have one option to automatically tension your belt. And this one is fantastic. Auto filament loading. This one, because you have the AM slide, if you set up correctly, when you finish one filament, automatically change and load the filament from another spool. That's all you can see. Do the same with the M1, with the normal AMS. And the low normal filament with one touch. But this one is nothing special. High speed precision. Bed slinger is a bed slinger, but with a correct 
speed and quality. He can print at 500 millimeters per second, and he can print a full bench sheet with good quality in 40 minutes. It's like one or two minutes less than uh, P1P or X1. This one because the bed is smaller, and even if you need to move faster and uh, has less acceleration, the head you need to move in short distance, so it's, you can print faster with the wheel check together. You can control by your phone, okay. Here is some comment of the people that say you change your hobby, so they're talking very good. Here is the make word that we come back later. This one is the quick swap nozzle system. Now you don't need any more to use any tool for change your nozzle if you want just for changing the size or you have the nozzle that is clogged or something like that. You can just remove the silicone cover here. Here you can see you have some clip. You can just open the clip and take out the nozzle with your hand. Thank you. Not when it's hot, please. You don't need to use any screw, any tools. It's very cool design, and they say that probably they will upgrade also this one in the future on the X1 and the P1P, changing the full head, of course, and it's something very, very cool. They have the camera that is a low frame rate camera, like the P1P, so you can use for monitoring online by the app if it's printing, but it's not for making live view, and uh, for the time lapse, because it's a bad slinger, is you can only make this small time lapse. If you make the normal time lapse, you have this wobble movement, and it's very very bad. But just for checking if you are printing, is okay. So here we have the comprehensive, the comprehensive, comprehensive filament monitoring, linear rays, vibration, active flow. This one will be say active monitoring, nozzling cancellation. This filament monitoring. They introduce a new system that has few sensor on the nozzle, on the motor, on the AMS, AMS, I don't know why I don't download anymore the picture, it's that the picture. And on the head that they can feel when the printer is not printing that is a clog. So in that case, we will advise and stop the print immediately to avoid to damage the nozzle. So also, one more time, if this one is working, it will be a very cool feature to avoid uh, to damage your nozzle, to waste your print, because every time it will be a, a, cl a potential clog, the printer should be able to predict, advise, and save your filament. Uh, here, active vibration we said, flow rate compensation here, explaining what I told you before. There was a sensor on the nozzle that it doesn't extrude inequality. The amount of the flow in the nozzle, they will compensate automatically. Additive noise, this is something new. At the beginning, when you turn on the printer, it will make two calibration. One is the vibration. One is this active motor noise cancelling that he move the head of the bed at different speed and it will show the difference between on and off this system. It's like a headset that it cancel the sound from outside. It can reduce the sound of the motor to reach under 50 decibel and it looks so so smooth. It's so quiet. Sorry. Here, the new AMS is compatible also with a carbon spool holder, not with all the filament. It has some size that it can com be compatible, but now it's more easy to find one spool that is compatible with the new AMS. And it also will be faster, I will show you, printed with the new multicolor, because now when you load the filament, when you unload, you just detract five centimeter until here, and load the new filament. On the old AMS, because there is only one pipe enter, every time you unload, you need to wait until the filament go to the back, load the new one, and go down. It loses almost two minutes just for unload and load the new filament. With this new system, that is for sure less nice to see, but it's more functional, 
you just retract the filament for five centimeter, so it would be much, much faster printing in this way. And this one is the mystery box. In at least in the pre-order, if you order the combo, because now you can only buy in the combo version, not the single printer, you can have one box. They have the lamp, the lamp, the wireless mouse, the between energy, and the marble run. These box are randomly, you cannot choose, and inside you find all the components for make this stuff. And the extraction with your own QR code, you scan with your phone, and you have the STL directly on your computer, ready to print the part that you can for make this lamp, mouse, engine, or marble. And it's something very, very cool that nobody did before. And this is again once the reason why they said this is the best first printer. Because when you got the printer, instead of print the test file, the tube, the rabbit, or whatever they have every time all the company make, you can print directly something functional like this one. And it's so cool. And also printer melody. The A1 Mini can sing electronic music without speaker. The motors, they can generate some kind of vibration frequency that you can uh, save and you can play when the printer is finished. And they claim here that if you can click here, you have this virtual keyboard that you can play some sound if you don't know how to make it. And after, you can save and import all your printers. So every time the printer finishes to print, you can play your own music. Now, because we already talked a lot, I want to talk about the new Make a World. What is Make a World? Make a World is a web service that now is in open beta. You can connect your account. Here you have all the work that the makers can upload with the extraction. And you can just select by your phone, by the app, Bambo and the app, download on your printer and directly print or you can download on your computer and adjust some settings if you want and print directly. It's something very fun, very cool, and I already stopped used a little bit. Now I want to show you. The first one is, I'm making this one right now, I'm still printing, is the Mandalorian Shadow Box. This one, you don't have the project made already. You can select and download the single files on your computer and after here, you can see, let me remove my ugly face. You can have the bed here. When I first download here, I have the project with the different bed with different color. But because I don't have the X1, I don't have that their color, I'm reprinting by myself. And uh, for now, I just print a few parts. Let me show to you. Here, and the cat is back. I print the frame, I print the black, the black, and I made the gray one, and I'm making here the skin color. These are printed with the ISOM PTG. And here, as you can see, this, this is my fault because I sliced this one which was 3 a.m. I was very tired and I sliced like this and I just say, okay, just print it. What's the problem? Because it was not a project. And I didn't think that maybe here a support was nice to have. Likely, and I really don't know how, this is PTG. So if you know the PTG, it printed with a very high temperature. The printer closed and the fans not the full power, normally around 30%. So I'm really, really, I don't have any idea how he was able to make a bridge good like this. This is 20 centimeter bridge. And yes, you have some defect here, but I, you should not be able to print something like this one. So I was so surprised when I saw this one. First I say, what did they do? I forgot the supports, but after I realized, hey, he prints without the support. He makes a super long bridge, and yes, later I will just cut a little bit, but hey, it's nice, it's working. I can still use 
Now I'm printing the fourth plate here, and after it, the fifth one here, they will go inside here. I found that who made this one is not the same who made the frame. And I think this band here is... Oh, I have some issue because you can see here they're not flat. They are curved a little bit. I don't know if it mentioned to be like this or it need to be more flat, but you see sometimes it pop, it pop out. So, I don't know if it's because it's two different makers make the files or if he mentioned to be like this. I don't know. Anyway, this one is the first print that I made. The second one, I made this battle one, B1 battle droid kit card Star Wars. This one, you can download directly the project from on your phone and send to print, or you can download on your computer directly the project. For example, if you click here, B1 card color no frame is what I print. Open Bamboo Studio. Automatically, it will open on your Bamboo Studio and import as a project. Now it will take a while because it's a lot of files. But this new way that it's not very new because Prusa also makes something like this one, but this looks better because you can use that by the phone. Here you can see. Is a project for the X1. So what I did in this case, because it's, I have the P1P, I just select my user preset for the P1P. The PTG, I use the my PTG, or in this case the PLA. So I need to change and changing the plate. This one are the settings. This one I left because this is how the maker suggest to print with the layer height at 0 0.12, with the not ironing, speed at 200, and with the fill at 15. So these one are all the settings by the maker. So this one is, I decided to don't change because it's made by them. And wait a moment, slow down everything. So I just change what I need to adjust according to which printer I have, what filament I'm using, so, so I don't have any issue. Slice and print without adjust anything. And in the end, I print something like this one for the moment that I'm assembling again. Yeah. It's all down everything. Okay, let me show. Sometimes it happens. Uh, wow. Wait a moment. Yes, because this one I give to my son to play a little bit, and I'm pretty sure that it's not his group. Yeah. Okay. okay, I will show like this one. one. It's hold on everything. Let me show. This one is the droid that he can also ride the thing over here, as you can see. Hold on, my son, he play a little bit too much on this toy, so now he's a little bit more fragile. But he's working very good. This one is the battle droid. He also has the base with a weapon. And this one should be the spear that my son destroyed a little bit. And this one is... Uh, this one, I put it right down. No, this one is not going like this one. And this one should be able to drive this speeder. And I can get it, he can do it because I did not now. But now some parts start to become losing a little bit. These are all connected without any glue. If I glue it, probably it will be a little bit more stable. Yes, you can see now start this part. It doesn't connect anymore very well. I want to try to put it back the gate at least once to show you. The feet go here. A little bit spread forward. Now it was so nice three seconds ago for taking 
I move it mm -hmm. more or less. Here we are, more or less. Okay. Uh, in the live, can, can happen, happen something like this. I'm sorry. sorry. I should glue it, probably. Okay, this, this one is the droid. droid. It's printing with a white matte PLA, uh, brown, I don't remember the color PLA for the head. I use the same green one of the eye for the, uh, for the motor. Why is it shaking? Okay. Uh, I, I, I use one, one transparent white yellow PTG for the light in the front and the black for the base in the other part. And this is my Droid V1 and now it looks like it's falling down on the back. I need to fix it. Later I will use some blue. And uh, this, this one, one was very, very simple to print, print actually, because you can see here, here you have all the piece already prepared with the support, everything. What you need to do is just slice. I even didn't use the print. I remove because I know that it doesn't work. So I print like this one, and it prints so fast and in 2 hours, 36 minutes, 200 millimeter, and it came out very, very good. And here, there is the vehicles, the card, here you can see, with all the instruction. And here, you can find whatever you want. You can write something like Yoda. You can find a lot of words. Something is made with instruction. Like this one, inside Open Public Studio is a project, the MMF. Here they give some information, how to print with the changer layer. It's very, very good and it works so, so nice. So let's back here. Okay, so, so, so this week, I was really, really curious and I wanted to talk to you, with, with you, about this news, camera, thank you, this news about the Bumble, the new printer, the new AMS light, that once again, of course, is not compatible and it will be not compatible with the other models of the Bumble, so you can only use. I already ordered mine on the 10th of October, they will start to send to me, and because, you know, I'm in China, it should arrive in a few days, so probably on the middle of October, I can make some live on unboxing and start to print something multicolored for the first time together with you. If you have some nice file that you want to print, maybe from the Maker Worlds, you can check and you can write it here in the comments, so maybe I can try to print. And once again, if you like this kind of like a news of the week, you can follow me right here in the comments and remember to activate the bell, subscribe to the channel of the ESA, so every time I make some live, you will get and receive the notification. And uh, so that's all for this week. I printed so many, many things. I show everything to you. I talk about the new printer, the new MS, and the new will make a word the new application website and uh, that's, that's all. all see you next week bye, bye.